Welcome to a lesson on multiplying and generating series of two sequences. What happens to the sequences when we multiply two generating functions? Let's let a equal a sub zero plus a sub one x plus a sub two x squared plus dot 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 and let b equal b sub zero plus b sub one x plus b sub two x squared plus dot dot dot. To multiply a and b, we need to do a lot of distributing, but keep in mind we will group like terms and only need to write down the first few terms to see the pattern. I've set up the product below in blue. Notice the only way we can get a constant is to multiply a sub zero and b sub zero, which is the constant term of the product. And now let's see which products result in an x term. We can get an x term by multiplying a sub zero and b sub one x, as well as a sub one x and b sub zero. If we found these products and combine the like terms, the coefficient of the x term would be a sub zero times b sub one plus a sub one times b sub zero, which is shown above. And now let's determine the products that result in an x squared term. We get an x squared term when multiplying a sub zero and b sub two x squared, as well as a sub one x times b sub one x, as well as a sub two x squared and b sub zero. If we found these products and combine the like terms, the coefficient of the x squared term would be a sub zero times b sub two plus a sub one times b sub one plus a sub two times b sub zero, which again is shown above. And you're probably starting to see the pattern. And now let's determine the products that result in an x cubed term. We would get an x cubed term when multiplying a sub zero and b sub three x cubed, as well as a sub one x and b sub two x squared, as well as a sub two x squared and b sub one x, and finally a sub three x cubed and b sub zero. If we find these products that combine the like terms, the coefficient of the x cubed term is a sub zero times b sub three plus a sub one times b sub two plus a sub two times b sub one plus a sub three times b sub zero, which again is shown above. And now let's look at a specific example. We're asked to multiply the sequences one, two, three, four, dot, 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 by the sequence one, two, four, eight, sixteen, dot, 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 find the first four terms, then determine the generating function. Let's do this on the next slide. So first, I've already set this up in blue where we have the generating series for the sequence one, two, three, four, and here we have the generating series for the sequence one, two, four, eight, and so on. And looking at the product on the right, a sub zero will be the first term in the sequence, a sub one will be the second term, a sub two will be the third term, and a sub three will be the fourth term. The only time we have a constant term is when we multiply one and one, so it indicates that a sub zero is equal to one times one or one, and now let's find the x term. We get an x term when multiplying one and two x, as well as two x and one. This indicates that a sub one x is equal to one times two x plus two x times one, which is equal to four x. We now know a sub one is equal to four. And now let's determine the x squared term. We get an x squared term when multiplying one and four x squared, as well as two x and two x, as well as three x squared and one. A sub two x squared is equal to one times four x squared plus two x times two x, plus three x squared times one, simplifying. A sub two x squared is equal to 11 x squared. A sub two is 11. And for the fourth term, we'll determine the x cubed term. We get an x cubed term when multiplying one and eight x cubed, as well as two x and four x squared, as well as three x squared and two x, and finally also when multiplying four x cubed and one. A sub three x cubed is equal to one times eight x cubed plus two x times four x squared plus three x squared times two x plus four x cubed times one. Simplifying, we get a sub three x cubed is equal to 26 x cubed. Now we know the first four terms of the sequence are one, four, 11, 26, and so on. And the second part of the question asks us to determine the generating function Referring back to our table of generating functions, the generating function for the sequence one, two, three, four, dot, 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 is one divided by the square of one minus x, and the generating function for one, two, four, eight, sixteen, dot, 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 powers of two, 
is one divided by the quantity one minus two x. Remember we formed this generating function by replacing x with two x in the generating function for the sequence of ones. We'll define the generating function for the product. We simply multiply the generating functions together, which gives us a generating function g of x equals one divided by the square of one minus x times one divided by the quantity one minus two x, which gives us the generating function one divided by the product of the square of one minus x and one minus two x. I hope you found this helpful.